one of their days go over show cards for searching for the perfect gift for the artistic folks in his life. He's at the G Mart Art Gallery in Old City, so we're going to drop by. Named after him. No. Exactly. The G Mart at the G Mart. We'll be right back. Fox Wind. Well, Grover may have found what you're looking for at G Mart in Old City, right, Grover? That's right, Mike and Donya. Good old G-Mart, and here's Mark Brodzik and Tracy Lutz. They're sort of uh, part of the ownership here, and a lot of the products here are based on the artwork of uh, Mark Brodzik, who sort of turns uh, popular <laughs> commercial art into offbeat masterpieces. Check it out. And the manhunt is over tonight. Quadruple murderer Norman Johnson is finally back behind bars. And his face is just so haunting that I just wanted to paint it. I wanted it to look very um, childlike and kind of uh, innocent in a sense that he's so uninnocent, a bit of a juxtaposition. I paint them big just because they kind of like imitate American culture and I think uh, Americans are just so oversized. You know, everything's supersized or, you know, bigger than life. I'm obsessed with advertising because that's all you see everywhere, you know? It's kind of like everywhere you look, you just see somebody selling you something or this and that, and you just, it just gets so overwhelming. That... Consumerism in America is much becoming a problem. I mean, advertising is getting so much slicker, and things are getting so much more subversive and subliminal, and like targeting and things like that. They'll do things that seem like they're for good, like putting up basketball backwards in bad neighborhoods, so it'll say, uh, Mountain Dew, obey your thirst. It's like so these kids are playing ball in a public park, but yet every time they shoot a hoop and the ball goes in, they see another ad for Mountain Dew. I'm not objecting all that stuff because it's a free society. I just want to like draw attention to like the society that we're creating, maybe. And maybe to be a little wiser about it. <laughs> with a $10 million campaign to sell world peace, you know, and like, and have that everywhere, you know what I mean? And, but we just won't because it's all about money. So now Mark has taken that artwork and turned, the, turned it into actual products, and Gmart is where you can purchase them. Now, if you're still looking for the gift, uh, for the person who had to go in. Cool, but this sugar water is hysterical. See, wait, what's the Golden Fluffy? Golden Fluffy is Mark's own... So, uh, he has Golden Fluffy products all over the place. And, uh, he's got a uh, great product here. I don't want to give too much away before the next hour, but... <laughs> These are gifts you give to people and just watch their face. Yeah, right? exactly. Oh, thanks. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's Thanks, bro. Steph. We'll see you later. That's what I have to see now. Yeah. Fox back, too. All right. There is a reason why I draped myself with red, white, and blue garland this morning. So I got the red and white and the blue and white because it's Bill of Rights Day. I know. It's ridiculous. But, hey, we're, you know, we're trying to make a connection here. It's Fox Facts time. It's the 15th of December. 1999, and this was the date in... On the 10 o'clock news. No, Mike and Danya, back to you guys. Thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. Good day, Silver Silcox. Just discovered a new shop in Old City with representations of popular household products transformed into works of art. Sort of uh, Andy Warhol. You got it. That's basically summed it up, right, girls? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, it does. All right, this see is, you later then. This is, the place, <laughs> this is the place for that person who has everything. You're looking for it. Here it is. Mark Brodzik, who is a, uh, an artist right here in Old City, and uh, he has sort of translated his artwork into objects of art. Correct, yes. Mark? Yeah, it's kind of like going one step further. Instead of painting the, uh, the, the soup can, I'm actually making the soup can. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going, taking Andy Warhol one step further. Yes. And uh, Tracy Lutz, who is also uh, your, uh, one of your partners here in uh, the Gmart concept. So uh, how do you figure into this, Tracy? Um, we have a wholesale clothing company called Stellar Jerry that we have brought into the store, and it's based on tattoo flash of Stellar Jerry. Wow, sounds great. Let's do some shopping. What do you say? Let's show you this stuff. This is like um, a Mart starter <laughs> kit. If you're not real confident about going to your legitimate Mart, try here first. This is the Golden Fluffy detergent. 
And we have two brands. One is Silk and the other is Golden Fluffy. <laughs> I see. And Silk, I like some of the, uh, the claims here. Now with actual detergent. Yes. Is this for people who don't have filth of their own so that they can actually experience the thrill of cleaning it up? Um, sugar water. Sugar water. No coloring, no vitamins, no fruit, fortified with fructose. <laughs> you have Miracle Cleanser. Miracle Cleanser, concentrated heavy-duty purifier. And I think it's important when you buy a product to read the directions. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Mark? You always read the directions. directions. Uh, ingest in large voluminous amounts to purge all that ails you. Immediate seizing of the digestive tract will be followed by a short paralysis and then death. Also effective on floors and most kitchen surfaces. <laughs> Use a cloth or sponge. No rinse is generally needed. We don't beat around the bush. I didn't see that. <laughs> so fluffy, golden fluffy is your is your label, right? Yes, yes. And it's um, it's just this great company that I think everybody's going to be collecting golden fluffy products soon. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the next Pokemon craze. I see. And I like the fact that you do have one cart here at Gmart. That's it. Because you're going to miss that if you're used to the regular marts not having a cart. N normally here you're not allowed to touch the products. We have a security guard that basically takes care of everything. <laughs> But you're a special case, Grover, so we'll That's let what they've you been telling me, yeah, for stuff. years. This is some of the Sailor Jerry stuff. Okay. Which is, this is a very nice job. Right, Sailor yeah. Jerry, which was a, uh, an art, a tattoo art form created by... Um, Larry McGeerty. Larry McGeerty, and then the you've got the copyright, and now it's uh, on all of the clothing here at G-Mart, or a lot of the clothing. The G-Mart, or the, uh, the uh, Sailor Jerry style. We'll get you some cereal. Oh, we have some, have some cereal. Frosty Holios. Yeah, let's put that in there. <laughs> Okay, and we have lots of t-shirts and stuff. Oh, what is this? This is foaming liquid. Foaming liquid. I like to get right <laughs> to the point, Mark. <laughs> Makes water wetter. I see. Let's get right down here. I understand that you actually have a new line of clothing here. Yeah, we have golden fluffy t-shirts, all different kinds, but this is the new Grover, <laughs> which G-Mart stands for Grover Mart. Oh, does it really? Yeah, it actually like... stands for anything you want it to stand <laughs> exactly. for. Exactly. There, there all... it is. In case you run out, there's all these extras. Yeah. And it's for people who really need more of Grover, there More Grover's in a box. Well, congrats. <laughs> Good luck with your, your new store, G-Mart. I know it's going to take off. Tracy, congratulations. And uh, again, if you want that uh, item, that gift, that uh, for the hard-to-buy <laughs> person, this Just is the place to come right holiday. here in Old City. Cigarro World, really. Hey, <laughs> Grover, ask you how many of those t-shirts he has sold so far. <laughs> Oh, Mark, how many cases uh, did he have? Mike would like to know how many of these t-shirts you've actually sold. We sold uh, 850. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. I had everything like every day. <laughs> I know. My, uh, my family has 849 of them. <laughs> and a great medallion you have on there, you swinger. Well, thank you. Thank you. You know, somebody has to replace the chairman of the board. I exactly. think I should be the I first do. one. That's hysterical. Thanks, Grover. Coming up next on Good Day, we're going to take a look back at some of the most compelling moments of our time. Up next, we'll talk to the editor of Life, our century in pictures. Got to hang around for this.